Hey, good Friday morning, everyone. It's 21 News Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm. A little uh, weather blog from home this morning as we have a lot to talk about over the next 24 to 36 hours. Not much has changed really with our overall thinking of how things will evolve with regards to rain and record temperatures and wind, possible power outages, and possible severe weather as well. But uh, we want to kind of refresh uh, how things look this morning and uh, guide you through the first half of the weekend. First, a broad view of the country this morning. Our uh, storm system is taking shape uh, just east of the Rockies, and this is uh, producing some snow to the north and some rain to the uh, south. Already winter storm warnings and watches and advisories have been issued across a good chunk of the uh, central and northern plains up into the upper Midwest. That's the wintry side of the storm on the... Uh, warm side of the storm, this is going to be a big wind producer for a lot of people. Already high wind watches out for a lot of Michigan, the lakeshore of northern Ohio, and high wind warnings in western New York. I would expect wind advisories to be issued for our television viewing area at some point today, uh, taking effect late tonight and taking us through Saturday. So I would expect more uh, wind advisories to fill in on this map before the morning is through. One thing for sure, it's a lot warmer out there this morning than it was 24 hours ago. We're a good, oh, 18 to 20 degrees or so warmer than uh, 24 hours ago. Temperatures did not fall last night. They generally rose into the uh, low 40s, setting the stage for a, uh, a pretty mild day today. We'll, we'll get to well up into the 40s, even close to 50 this afternoon. Let's talk about how things will evolve. Now, during the daylight hours today, there can be some breaks of sun. Not a bad day at all. It's kind of the calm before the storm. It's a good day to maybe uh, take down that inflatable Santa or some of the more uh, susceptible outdoor decorations uh, to wind um, because the weather will be pretty calm today and then the wind will start to, to become an issue late tonight. As far as wet weather, we're dry during the daylight hours today by Late in the evening, mid to late evening, 9, 10, 11 o'clock. Could be a few showers around. No big deal there. And as we head through the overnight, more showers will come and go. There might even be a rare December thunderstorm in the mix as well. Uh, gusty winds will accompany these showers. Now, as we get into the daylight hours tomorrow, this is the simulated radar on one of our models here at about uh, daybreak tomorrow morning. It shows a scattering of showers around with a more organized band uh, preceding the front around midday or early afternoon. So this is the simulated radar at noon, 1 p.m., 2 p.m. Uh, this uh, semi-organized band of showers and perhaps thunder will push through and it'll be accompanied by wind. And speaking of wind, once the front rolls through early to mid-afternoon, that's when the wind will really be at its worst uh, tomorrow. So it'll be generally windy late tonight into tomorrow morning, already at daybreak tomorrow, as you can see. Um, I know the numbers are a little hard to read here, but uh, generally 30 to 40 mile per hour gusts will be, I think, pretty common even at daybreak on Saturday morning. But uh, the most consistently strong winds, here they come, right uh, around midday, early afternoon, 2, 3, 4 o'clock. I mean, we could be dealing with some gusts of at least 45 to 50 miles per hour uh, during the uh, afternoon tomorrow. And temperatures will be wild tomorrow. I mean, we're going to wake up tomorrow morning at daybreak with temperatures already near the record high. The record high tomorrow is 61, set in 1979. We'll be close to that record from the get-go tomorrow morning. We'll probably rise into the mid-60s before the midday hours are through, but here comes the cold front and whoosh. We'll go from about 61, 62 at about uh, oh, 1, 2 p.m. down to 35 or so by about 5 to 6 p.m. We're going to drop a good 25 degrees, 20 to 25 degrees, in the matter of a few hours. And later in the evening, when you factor in the strong winds that'll be around, uh, we'll have wind chills in the lower 20s. We're going to go from air temperatures in the low 60s to wind chills in the low 20s in like five or six hours. It's going to be a, a wild, wild ride. And because it's going to be so much colder in the evening, and we have that po possibility of power outages with all that wind, we're going to keep our fingers crossed that... Uh, the scattering of power outages does not last that long because, yeah, you're going to want your heat to kick on later in the evening because it is going to be a lot colder. Thunderstorms. I mentioned we could have uh, some thunder around here, something that is pretty rare in the month of December. December's our least thundery month, if you will, out of all the months of the year. January is just slightly uh, more thundery uh, than December, but only just slightly. Of course, middle of winter, this is not a, uh, a location that we typically see a lot of uh, thunderstorm activity, but uh, today, and especially late today and into tonight, pretty good severe weather outbreak um, from the mid-Ohio Valley down into 
parts of the Mississippi Valley, and this will probably include parts of Ohio, uh, especially Western Ohio. Uh, this is for late today into tonight. Our severe weather risk, severe thunderstorm r risk, if you will, is pretty low through tonight. Tomorrow's outlook starting at daybreak tomorrow, taking us through the afternoon. Again, this is the risk of severe thunderstorms. It's going to be windy no matter what. Um, but as far as convective bursts of wind accompanied by thunderstorms, the risk overall remains highest to our south and west. Roughly, I'll say Route 30 on south and west towards the uh, Ohio River, uh, Cincinnati over to Chillicothe, uh, maybe uh, Athens, Parkersburg, Marietta, places like that. But you'll notice the darker green here, this is kind of like a, a 1 on a 1 to 5 scale as far as the severe weather risk. It gets up into... Um, the Akron Canton area, maybe parts of Columbiana County. Um, the risk is definitely the farther south and southwest you are from Youngstown, the risk is definitely a little bit higher of convective bursts of wind with thunderstorms. I can't even rule out some isolated tornadoes tonight, southwest, central Ohio, and into tomorrow, especially south of I-70 in the state of Ohio and extreme southwest PA as well. Very unusual, very spring-like weather setup. This will be followed by a period of much calmer weather coming up Sunday into early next week. So this evening I'll have a full update on the seven-day forecast on 21 News at 6 and 11. We'll break down all the weather happenings for the weekend and beyond and take a look at the pre-Christmas outlook on weather for Weather Geeks, my online daily video. This video has been long enough. Thank you for watching on this Friday morning and make it a great rest of your day.